Hello and welcome to the Brick System Brothers Pab Crawl short series of videos from Nathan's purchases at the Pick and Build Walls during his East Coast road. Alright, enough of that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut that short and get straight into it today. I have two more Pick and Build small cups. Finally getting back to the Pab Crawl content. And I'm going to do this double feature, try to get through the last couple of these cups, um, and then we can move on to other content here on the channel. This one is from Buffalo, New York. This from Westchester, New York. So two New York cups. Again, these were mid-July purchases, so the wall is probably for sure changed. Um, there might be a few things that are still in common um, that never did quite get cleared out, but I'm sure this specific combination of parts is probably no longer on those walls. Uh, yeah, you know the drill here. Gonna open these up, get a count. I think the Buffalo store, so this cup here actually has almost 20 different lots, and then the Westchester looks like it's got maybe 10 different lots in it. So we'll look at the different lots, the quantity. Um, price of these is, is of course uh, like $9, so uh, we'll get our price breakdown cents per piece, all that good stuff, and uh, see what I got back in July. It's been quite a while now. What does Buffalo have for me? 363 pieces. Um, some of the higher quantity ones I am going to put in my Acro Mills system, but there were also quite a few, like these bricks here, uh, a single one by one, transparent blue, some other round one by ones. Some of this stuff was actually in one of the mixed um, pick and build. So usually each container on the wall is dedicated to one piece. But at a lot of stores, they have either one or two kind of miscellaneous ones that just have a mix of pieces. And usually it's going to be like um, from a couple months ago or stuff that doesn't get quite cleared out all the way, they just throw into a mixed bin. So I was picking through there. And some of these 1x4s I ended up getting. Uh, sand green, dark tan, and that's teal. Kind of doesn't look like teal in the light. but um, So some 1x4 bricks, and then some other uh, transparent round 1x1. One one. I grabbed two brooms. Didn't really need them. Don't know why I got those. And then these little 3x4 hoods. I got four in both red and then this uh, medium azure color. I think that's medium azure couple of brackets, um, but then some of the more interesting ones are actually here in the tubs. So the minifig head in this um, bright light orange color, if these were printed, if they had like a face on them, I think this would be a really good like sunburn effect for a minifig, but they're all plain. And they were in the actual pick and build wall. This isn't from the BAM, this was a piece on the wall. So interesting to see that, uh, ended up with like 50 of those heads and then this corner plate it's kind of got that wedge cut out on it dark red another 50 so of those a very nice dark blue stud knot on top brick a sand green stud knot on top and then regular one by one brick in the uh, the dark bluish gray so stock up on those and some uh, two by two round tiles so those are the ones I got in quantity 50 or so of each of those and then uh, the mix. Some smaller quantities of the other ones. Total of 363 pieces, like I said. And at about $10 for the cup, this works down to 2.7 cents a piece. Not a record, but not too bad. Especially some of these pieces that are going to be available in limited quantity in a set. If you can get these in bulk at the, at the Lego store, that's where you start to get some of that value coming in. And as for Westchester, a little bit of a deja vu. Very similar part counts here, 370 total pieces. And with uh, practically the same price, I don't know why, like taxing was maybe slightly different in Westchester, but uh, 2.63 cents per piece. So just, just slightly cheaper by like a few hundredths of a cent. Practically the same price for these pieces, uh, about two and a half cents. But uh, lots had a slightly different arrangement here, a few fewer lots, and 
some of the parts actually got two by four bricks here in the dark bluish gray so that's kind of a larger piece um, but the rest quite small um, especially the one by one tiles the transparent yellow this was a piece I had actually got in Kansas City so didn't really need to get more of these but um, they're coming in just the same uh, highest lot count was the one by one round bricks and transparent red over 120 of those also got some nice um, mixed orange regular bricks one by two and one by one uh, about 50 each of those here just regular orange color it's kind of uh, kind of loud when you're working on buildings so it need, definitely will need to be accented if I work this into a building um, but it, it's kind of a good accent color so trying to get some more parts in the, in the orange available there and then there were a couple of these transparent red cones I think they were mixed in with the one by ones accidentally but just two of those and then some nice white corner plates um, depending on what I'm building I do burn through these so just grab a few more of that then the pearl gray this is just a rim kind of uh, no it's a rim yeah it's rim part small tire um, doesn't necessarily have to be for a tire it's got that standard axle connection so it could make some kind of uh, space cargo theme or you know detailing on a spaceship that that pearl gray color is nice for that and then the only other one I haven't mentioned yet is the uh, four-way stud knot on top. Um, the nickname for this part is a Travis brick. Didn't I didn't know that for a while, but um, that's kind of the un, one of the unofficial names. I'm not sure if it's named after a person that used them a lot, um, but yeah, don't know where that comes from. But I have heard that quite a bit. Those one by one. Uh, with all the studs on all four sides being called the Travis Brick. Kind of interesting there. From the Westchester store, mid-July last year. Uh, pretty good value. Did get some of the larger bricks at this store. Uh, I also did a little bit of stacking, but I don't know if it would have been worth it to just go for a small cup of only 2x4s. I think to kind of offset the larger part size you have to put in some of the smaller stuff and get it all packed in to get that that price down um, in the lower single digit cent prices and then since I'm remembering this was something I bought at the Buffalo store so it's not a not a pick and build from the wall um, but the one of the student packs from last year I did go ahead and buy that and then the other day I noticed that this was uh, on a small sale at lego.com so if I was placing an order online then it w I would have been better off to wait I think it's like twelve dollars online now and it was fourteen in the store um, but I'm not buying anything online anytime soon I don't I haven't really seen anything that I need to get right away the the gift with purchase offers aren't um, very enticing at the moment but there are, are some nice parts in here I wanted to uh, kind of have the opportunity to have on hand um, then down the road if I decide yeah, I really don't need the uh, the different house torsos or the Marauders map. I'll just part it out and sell it. But that was kind of uh, with the Buffalo store, and this was the the Westchester. So the New York pick and build haul video. This is number six, I think, for the pad crawl. And there are a few more cups to go. So that um, that wonderful intro we'll be seeing again, possibly. And then we'll we'll try to get the pad crawl stuff wrapped up, and get back to uh, kind of standard mock videos, sorting su some stuff with that, um, and maybe a some miscellaneous coming in down the road. But yeah, pad crawl number six. See you guys next time on Brick System Brothers.